Hello everyone. <clears throat> welcome to Royal Tarot Readings. Um, this uh, Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to Mystical Fortunes for her shout out. Wow, that was so unexpected. Thank you so much. I've had so much fun learning from her on, on her tarot class. If you haven't done it, sign up. It's If you're interested in reading tarot, she's wonderful. Um, and the link is in the description below. Um, all right, so today I'm going to do a reading on um, Camilla's perspective. Um, I'm also a Cancer. I have a Capricorn Ascendant. Um, I know that both Princess Diana and Camilla uh, were Cancers. And I understand both of them. I really, I loved Diana. I just was so heartbroken when she died, like almost all of us were. And I um, didn't like Camilla at first, but she's really grown at me. She really has. She's, she hangs in there and she's obviously the love of Charles's life. So how can you, how can you hate on love, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, sorry for the noise in the background. Of course, the dogs decide to bark right as I'm going to do this. Um, so anyway, here's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do just a five-card spread. I would like to do um, five questions um, from Camille's perspective. Uh, why is King Charles so hesitant to act on Harry's behavior? From Camille's perspective, I'd, I'd like, what does she think? What, what is her perspective on why he's so hesitant? Um, and what does she think of Harry? What does she think of Harry now? Not in the past, but now. What does she think of him now? And what does Camilla think on Megan? Uh, what is her perspective on on what's going on with her? And um, the fourth question is, what are Camilla's goals for the next three months? Um, tarot doesn't tend to be you know, a long-term future because things can change. <clears throat> so what is her, what's her what are her goals for the next three months? And then what are her hopes and fears for Charles? Um, she's obviously the rock behind the throne. Um, she's there for him. So what, what, in her perspective, are her hopes and fears for Charles? So, all right, I haven't quite mastered shuffling on camera yet. So I have shuffled and I've cut. And I'm just going to do this five-card spread. So, all right, here we go. So the first question is, why is King Charles so hesitant to act on Harry? Oh, goodness. Uh, let's move this in. So, oh, the Hierophant in reverse. So this is the Hierophant. We've got the Hierophant. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. I forgot to do the underlying energy. What's the underlying energy here? Oh, the underlying energy. Oh, the Knight of Wands. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and Judgment's right after it. Okay. So the Knight of Wands. Um, she's ready for a battle. She's ready for a battle. She's got her ducks in a row. She's got passion for her mission. She's ready for the challenge. She's like, bring it on. Bring it on. And then whatever judgment, whatever judgment, this is a secondary underlying energy, whatever judgment's going to come, so be it. Okay, so wow. All right, so that's her perspective. Now, why is King Charles so hesitant to act on Harry? We have a Hierophant in reverse. In her perspective, he's following his own path. He doesn't need to answer for anyone anymore. He doesn't have to ask permission for anyone anymore. He's thinking, why are we doing things this way? I'm going to do it my way. So, hmm. He's going to do it his way. That's on her perspective on why she thinks he's not acting. Or at least not acting publicly. Um, now, what is her, what's her position on Harry? So, what's her position on Harry? This is the Three of Cups in reverse. The Three of Cups. Uh... She thinks he wants to go it alone. She thinks he wants to do something. She thinks he should go it alone and reconnect with his family. Because in the upright position, you have everybody is really happy. They're rejoicing. They're all together. And in the reverse, it's, you know, three's a crowd. So she thinks... In her mind, he wants to do things, again, his way. He wants to, she thinks that he should go it alone. In the family perspective, he needs to let go of his toxic behavior and regroup. That's what she thinks of Harry right now. Um, so what's her position on Megan? What's going on? What's she thinking of Megan? Oh, the 
three of swords in reverse. Okay, so three of four of swords is about heartbreak. Heartbreak, betrayal in the upright position and reversed. It's hard to move on from this heartbreak. It's hard to move on from the betrayal that she's caused. It's hard to forgive. I don't think she will forgive her. I don't that she never will. I don't blame her. Of course, my, okay, disclaimer, my opinions, my interpretation of what the cards are telling me, fun and entertainment only, please read the disclaimer in the description below. So, yeah, she, her, Megan, she's, Megan's caused a lot of heartbreak. And she's betrayed the family, and she's not going to forgive her for it. So, all right, so what are um, Camille's goals for the next three months? So this is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so the Nine of Wands, you can see the the man here is looks like he's injured. He's leaning on his staff, but he's got a look of determination on his face. That's resilience, courage, persistence. He's going to accept the challenge and reach his goal. So he, he's, he's, she is ready to accept the challenge. She's in, in, combined with the Knight of Wands. She's like, bring it on. And she's ready, she's ready to reach her goal. She's ready to, to go ahead and reach her final goal. Whatever that is, she's ready for the battle. <clears throat> and what are her her last cards going to be? What are her hopes and fears for Charles? The Chariot. These are major arcana cards, by the way. The Hierophant, the Chariot, the Knight of Wands, Judgment. Good gracious. Okay, so the Chariot in reverse. In her mind, from Camille's perspective, she he she thinks he needs to change direction. She's worried he may lose his motivation, and she's she thinks, yeah, you may want to do things your way. You may want to do it your way, but you know what? You need to change direction. Ooh. So that's what that's what she's thinking. She's worried that he may he may lose his way. She, that's what she's worried about. Not that he will. That's what she's worried about. So she's worried that if he does things his way. He's gonna he's gonna lose his motivation and and lose sight of where he needs to be. Goodness, we have some major arcanas here. So this was just a quick reading. Um, I'm still learning these cards. I know it's and you guys want me to shuffle. I need to get a, a camera holder so that I can shuffle. I can use both my hands to do this. Um, but anyway. I hope that was of interest to you. Let me know uh, in the comments below if you have a different perspective on some of these interpretations. Again, I'm just a new reader, um, and I'm kind of finding my way. But these are fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I'm always surprised at the cards that come out. It's just so, it's so interesting. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I hope you've had fun. Um, for people who aren't subscribed, please subscribe, um, like, share, and um, let everyone know. And thank you again, the Mystical Fortunes. You are amazing. Shanta, thank you so much for your, for your shout out. Um, anyway, thanks guys. I will have more content coming to you and, um, we'll see you soon. Bye.